Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the ballpark for another season of Bobcats Baseball here on Pemmy Baker TV. So glad you could join us, Dan Selzer, bringing you the call of the action here today. Coaches meeting the home plate umpires at home plate. Just in front of us, warm-ups have come to an end. So glad you could join us. A beautiful day here at the ballpark. Still some snow around the area, but... Low 60s, going to drop into the 50s as the game goes on here through 7. But good crowd up on the hillside. Beautiful, bright, sunny day. Perfect day for baseball here in the month of April. Get first game for both teams this year. We'll read through the lineups for both teams. First, the batting order for Laconia here in their season opener. Leading off and playing center field will be Rowan Jones. Batting second will be Caden Doloff. As the wind picks up, he'll be catching here today. Curtis Jobin will play first and bat third. Logan Sanchez, the pitcher, will bat in the cleanup spot. Jake Tryon will play at short and bat fifth. Lucas Kirk playing third base will bat sixth. Matthew Robinson, the second baseman, will bat seventh. Reed Valencourt, the right fielder, will bat eighth. And Sam Knowlton, the left fielder, will round out the batting order for Laconia here today. Defensively for Plymouth. Dekodowski will be catching Sanborn at first, Dutile at second, Diamond at short, Stratton at third, and left to right in your outfield, Custins, Dano, and Bassenwaith. And they'll be defending right behind the likes of Johnny Flaherty, who will get the start on the rubber here today. So meetings have come to an end. Teams are getting ready, ready to make their way out onto the field. So glad you could join us here on Pemmy Baker TV. Going with a different setup this year. We're going to try to be behind home plate instead of out in right field so we can kind of bring you some more noise of the action this season. So let us know how you're enjoying the new coverage, the new angles, and we'll do the best we can here today as the Bobcats take the field for the first time this season. Your home plate umpire just directing. Changes here for the pitchers. See infields going on. Laconia there, the coaching staff getting a few more instructions. As we get set to go here in this season opener. A lot of wind here today. We apologize if there is some wind noise on our microphones here, just behind the plate, just down and to the right of the camera on your screen. Again, had our first spring coverage yesterday, a tough loss for girls lacrosse taking on Derry Field. And we'll be back on the air, live action of softball as they play host to Sauhegan this Friday at 4 o'clock from DNM Park on the campus of Plymouth State University. Again, if you haven't seen it, check out our spring schedule, our current broadcast schedule of Bobcat Athletics. Visit that through the town website, Plymouth-NH.org forward slash PBTV Sports. Bring you right to our schedule Everything we're going to bring you this spring, and hopefully some playoff action as well as we head to the month of June. When swirling around here near home play as we're set to go. Rowan Jones, the center fielder, will lead things off here to start the season. Flaherty gets the sign and delivers. 
called strike to start the game. First pitch time at exactly four o'clock. This one fouled off to the right, up and out of play. And quickly in an 0-2 hole is Jones. Flaherty trying to control the strike zone here early. 0-2 off speed, got on and swing and a miss for the strikeout. First one here today. So Caden Doloff, the catcher, will come to the plate. Down and in, missing for ball one. First ball thrown here by Flaherty in the early going. That one finds the outer part of the plate to even the count up. Flaherty working quickly from the rubber. Off speed pitch just off the glove there. Dekatowski. And a 2 1 count. Fastball fouled off. Gamaconia getting ready for their home and opener coming up. And a beautiful ballpark they play in at Robbie Mills. Found the outside of the plate, strike three. And two up, two down here in the first for the Sachems. So Curtis Jobin, the first baseman, will bat. Curveball swung on over the top. It was wide, though. Another curve, missing well off the plate. Doesn't get him to chase this time. One ball, one strike to count here. Two outs, top of the first inning. Curve drops in there for the strike. Flaherty trying to get a one, two, three to start the season. Fastball, this one line two. Right field, that'll drop for a two out single. So first hit of the season for Laconia. And Jobin gets his team back up to the plate here. Here's Logan Sanchez, the pitcher, batting in the cleanup spot. Trying to Help his cause here before he throws his first pitch. Fastball outer edge of the plate, just off for ball one. Joven with a couple step lead at first. Throw over, checking on him. Back cleanly in time. That had some movement, but it dropped off the plate in a way. 2-0 count here to Sanchez. Fastball high and in. This one fouled off onto the hillside in front of our camera. That's off to our cameraman today. Jonathan Picard on the hillside giving you fans some great coverage of the action. The 2-1. Fastball finds a play and off and running. That one's going to get through to center field. And advancing all the way to third. Expect that to be a throwing error on Dekutowski.
2-2 trying to finish off the inning. Liner, that one gets to right, and that's going to bring home Jobin. And a 1-0 St. Chum's lead here on the road. It will be an unearned run. But nevertheless, Laconia on the board here in the first inning. Jake trying the shortstop. A little bat now. Fastball off the plate for ball one. As Flaherty will step off the rubber. Trying to get on the same page. A little gust of wind came in as he towed, set up for the pitch. Here's a delivery. This little change up there. Swung on a miss for strike one. Check over at first, getting back standing up easily there is Sanchez. Sanchez decent lead at first again. Throw home, called strike, throw down, and he's out! So that will retire the side. But the damage done, Chauvin scores on Sanchez, is single to right. We head to the bottom of the first. Bobcats come to the plate for the first time, trailing 1-0 here at home. Back here for the bottom of the first inning. Taking a look at the batting order for the Popcats here today. Luke Diamond, the shortstop, will lead things off. Noah Dutile, the second baseman, will bat second. Cam Stratton, third baseman, will bat third. Johnny Flaherty, the pitcher, will bat in the cleanup spot. Batting fifth and catching is Tyler Dekutowski. Thomas Dano will bat sixth and play center field. Jake Sanborn, the first baseman, will bat seventh. Logan Custance in left field will bat eighth. And Luke Bassenwaite, the right fielder, will bat ninth. Doloff doing the catching for Sanchez here in this season opener for the Sachems as well. Jobin at first, Robinson at third, Tyron at short, Kirk at third, left to right in your outfield, Milton Jones and Valen Court. Set to go. See what the Popcats can do here to answer back. First pitch to Diamond, he'll tail this one foul and out of play off to the left. Another fastball tailing foul. Same spot. Diamond just a little slow to catch up to that fastball there from Sanchez. In an 0-2 hole here, in the leadoff spot. Gets a piece of that one to stay alive here at the plate. We're waiting for some balls to be put back into play here. And fans still showing up on the hillside next to our camera here on your screen. 
0-2 again. Sanchez tries to drop one in there. Good eye by Diamond to lay off and stay alive here. Fastball downstairs, liner back up the middle, and a leadoff single for Diamond. Let's bring up Noah Dutel, second baseman. Off and running is Diamond. Strike at the plate. Diamond in safely with a stolen base. So now Plymouth has their first runner in scoring position. Oh one pitch. That's one two seamer downstairs just missing. Mike Boyle doing well with his crew here this season. Head coach for Plymouth. Really disciplined so far here at the plate in the early showing. That one finds the zone this time from Sanchez, and it's a 1-2 count. Curve is fouled off. One ball, two strikes. Here's the delivery. Fastball just missing below the knees. Good eye by Dutal. Curveball fouled off again. Right as a big gust of wind comes in. Can we apologize for the wind noise on the microphone? Try to stay on top of it before you're here today. Sanchez a look at second at Diamond. Big lead at second base. 2-2. Two -two. Pop straight up right coming towards the fence. And it will stay in play. No one went for it. Everyone thought that was going to carry. The wind pushed it back in. Second, I thought it was going to come to us right here just on the backstop of that fence. And while the field is dried out, I mean, there is the fire advisory with the winds and the dry conditions, but... Round's still pretty soft. Ready for another 2-2. Curve ball. Sent to center field. That finds the gap and drops. Diamond had to wait. He'll round and head home. And coming in for the tying run. And an RBI double for Noah Dutile. So great patience at the plate. And just like that, back-to-back -back hits to lead off the home half of the first for Plymouth. Here comes Cam Stratton, the third baseman. First pitch lifted to left. That caught the left fielder and Nolton off guard. That goes to the fence. Rounding and coming home is Dutile. And back-to-back -back RBI doubles here for Plymouth. Two-one Bobcats. Still no outs in the bottom of the first. Johnny Flair to try to help his own cause out here. He'll take a ball upstairs. Oh. 
That one in the dirt, good job by Doloff to knock that one down in front and keep the runner at second. Two zero, fastball finds the plate. Fastball that one, just uh, reaching back a little bit too far from Sanchez. Three one hitters count here to Flaherty. Trying to add to the lead. Downstairs and he'll take ball four. So two one, no outs, bottom of the first. Tyler Dekatowski, the catcher, will step up to the plate. Fastball high and inside for ball one. That one missing for ball two. So Stratton at second, Flaherty at first on the walk. Another one high and inside. And we'll see if Dekutowski will take it all the way here with a 3-0. Hey, what what and he does as that one drops and catches the bottom of the zone. Good pitch from Sanchez. Upstairs, and the bases are loaded here on back-to-back -back walks. So sixth batter of the inning. And it'll be Thomas Dano, the center fielder, as we'll have a mound visit here in the bottom of the first inning. And fans join us all spring season long here on Pemby Baker TV for home coverage of Bobcat Athletics. Bases loaded, no outs, bottom of the first. Stratton at third, Flaherty at second, Dekutowski at first. Sanchez trying to get out of a jam here. Cut on a miss, strike one. Dano swinging for the fences there, trying to get juiced up. Start the season. Off speed catches the outer part of the plate for a strike. Dano quickly down 0-2. Fastball away, good catch there by Doloff. Shadow starting to creep across here at home plate. Right to left across your screen. Another one away. Two two count to Tano. Down and in, this one fouled off and will land out of play. Good defensive swing by Dano to stay alive here at the plate. Thomas. 
Another defensive swing. Sent foul off to the left into the woods almost. That one into the dirt, it gets to the backstop, coming home is Stratton on the wild pitch. So I'll advance the runners, both are in scoring position now. Full count for the first time for Sanchez. Upstairs, cut on a missed, and they'll get his first strike out of the day. So one away for Jake Sanborn, the first baseman, getting his first at bat. A little bit of a headhunter there, Sanborn. He'll duck out of the way for ball one. Curve just missing off the plate for ball one, or ball two there, sorry. And on the hands, lifted back and out of play. Plymouth just seeming really calm and not rushed here at the plate. Away from Sanchez for ball three. That one finds the zone. And another full count here for Sanchez as his pitch count's getting up here in the first. We don't have a counter here with us, but and there are limits in high school. Hard shot to center, back towards the fence. It's off the wall. One will come home. Here comes another, it's Ekutowski, and it's a two RBI triple for Jake Sanborn. A big shot. And Plymouth has broken things open here. In the first inning, Logan Custance, the left fielder, the eighth batter of the inning, will step up to the plate. That wind just kept carrying. Coming from home plate out towards the center field area. A tough one for Jones. Fastball strike one here to start off Custance. Into the dirt, that one gets away to the backstop. Here comes Sanborn charging home, and he will score the run. Third wild pitch thrown by Sanchez. So base is now empty, 1-1 one, one count. Inside, off the glove though, of Doloff. That one finds the zone from Sanchez. Makes the count two and two. Yes. 
just missing low. And yet another full count here for Logan Sanchez. And there is one out here in the inning, cut on and missed. And just like that, back to back, or two strikeouts here for Sanchez. Here's Luke Bassenwaith. His first at bat, ninth batter of the inning for Plymouth. He'll take a first pitch strike. Curve inside just off the plate here from Sanchez again. Good patience from Basson Wade. Dropping off. Doesn't get him to chase. Here's the pitch. That about belt high for the strike. Evens the count up at two and two. Two away here, bottom of the first. Chopper up the middle off the glove of Sanchez. And no play. That should go as an infield hit. So fifth hit of the inning. And we have batted around here in the first as Luke Diamond will come back to the plate. He led off the inning with a single and a run scored. Had a stolen base as well. First pitch sent through the glove of Robinson at second. We'll put runners at the corners. Should go as an E4. Well, bring back up Noah Dutile got things going here this inning. An RBI double, his first plate appearance. Throw over, checking on the runner. Diamond dives back safely. Runners on the corners here. Diamond off and running, and that hit the jersey there of Dutile, so he will take his base, and the bases will be loaded once again. So for the second time, bases are loaded, and we'll have a mound visit here and expect this to be the end of the day for Sanchez. It's so the second visit this inning, so... Fans, Pemmy Baker TV is a proud member of the New Hampshire Coalition of Community Media, NHCCM. Check out the schedule on the NHCCM.org website for your teams who might be playing home or away, and our community partners might be covering it. So Robinson will come in to pitch from second base. There's the pitching change here. The warm up tosses. here for Robinson. Go 
So Bassenwaith at third, Diamond at second. Tile after being hit by a pitch. That first here, bases loaded, two outs, still here in the first inning. So Sanchez will go to short. Trying will move from short to second. That's the changes that we see here. Cam Stratton will come to the plate again. He had an RBI double his first time up. And takes a fastball high and away. Sent towards short. Sanchez bobbled it. One run will score. Breaks put on. Diamond now caught in a pickle on the third base line. The run scores. And Diamond is called out. That will retire the side. So we'll go as an error to Sanchez. Bassenwaith will score. And Diamond is caught a pickoff. That will retire the side, but the damage done. Plymouth scores eight here in the first. They lead 8-1. After one, you're watching Bobcat Baseball here on Pebby Baker TV. Top of the second, in we go. Laconia trying to chip away at the Bobcat lead. First pitch from Flaherty in the dirt. Jake Trigger now the second baseman. Batting for the first time today. Another one missing low and away. And on the hands, this one line to left. That'll drop for a leadoff single. Good piece of hitting there for the Sachems, their third hit of the game. And here comes Lucas Kurt, the third baseman, up to the plate. Throw over, checking on the runner at first. Fastball in the dirt. Long wait there for Flaherty, about 20 minutes. Not about 25 minutes, actually. So see how I can loosen back up here. Curve just missing away. Well, actually a little bit more of a slider. 
Had some late movement on it. That one finds the zone. Two one swung on, I missed. Beautiful pitch from Flaherty down and away. Trying off and running. That's called strike three. Drop strike three. But runner will have to go back. A lot of confusion there at the plate, but it is a strike out there because the base technically was not empty, even though Tyron was off and running. So one away here, top of the second. Matthew Robinson. Now the pitcher coming to the plate for the first time today. Missing to even the count at one and one. Curve down and in, missing. One thing that Flirty's done well, he's been able to move around the strike zone with his pitches. Has had the command so far to start. That one on the four seam fastball for a strike. That pounds the zone. Hasn't left too many up high. He's kept everything really belt high and down here. Through one and a third. That one off the plate. Doesn't give him the chase. Full count for the first time today to Johnny Flaherty. Payoff pitch, fastball. Frames, but that will go for a walk. So first walk given up by Flaherty today. And there's still one away. That'll bring up Rain Valen Court in the right fielder. Fastball, cut on a missed. That one hits him in the knee. And now the bases will be loaded for Laconia for the first time today. So Sam Knowlton, the nine banner, will step up into the batter's box. Trying to cut into this deficit. Fastball for strike one. Another fastball inside, swung over the top and missed. Flaherty just challenging the batters right now. Knowlton will step back in, down 0-2. Still only one away, base is loaded. Three straight strikeouts, or three straight strikes for the strikeout. On fastballs. Big punch out there. It's two away, top of the order for Rowan Jones, who struck out his first time up. First pitch offered, sent to left field underneath it. Custance finds it in the sun. Four out number three. That retires the side. So Laconia gets close, but they leave them loaded. We head to the home half of the second. It's Plymouth up eight to one on Laconia here on Pemmy Baker TV.
Home half of the second inning we go. Flaherty, Dekutowski, and Dano do up for the Bobcats, 4-5-6. Bobcats leading 8-1. to one. Oh yeah, John. He's a regular show, hey. Flaherty walked, scored a run. Last inning and first pitch pulls this one foul. Down the left field line. Fouls this one off. So Flaherty quickly down 0-2 to Robinson. Just off the plate. Good eye by Flaherty. Chop foul to stay alive. That one's off his own foot, so play is dead. One, two, still here at the plate for Johnny Flaherty. Inside to even the count up here. Ball away. Full count for Robinson. Chopper at the third base side, bobbled by Kirk. Throw across the diamond in time. So Kirk, a little bit of a bubble, but gathers it up. Good throw across the diamond for out number one. Tyler Tekutowski will come to the plate for the second time today. He walked, scored a run last inning. Fastball finds the zone for strike one. Sun going to become more of a factor for the defensive side here as the game goes on. Sun setting. Pass the first baseline. Upstairs, cut on and missed. So really, both teams should be trying to hit something to left and left center. Make it difficult, as we saw for Custons last inning. And a strikeout here for Robinson. And quickly two away for Plymouth. It's a two up, two down. Home half of the second. And Thomas Dano, center fielder, 0 for 1, struck out, swinging his first time up, takes first pitch and fouls it straight back. Reaching back and getting this one of the dirt there is Robertson. Just try to add an extra couple of couple of miles an hour in that fastball. Quick deliver here off the toe of the bat, sent to shallow left field, charging over is Sanchez in fair territory to retire the side. So one, two, three inning for the St. Chimps defensively. So we head to the third inning. It's Plymouth 8, Laconia 1 on Pemby Baker TV.
Go to the top of the third inning here. The campus of Plymouth Regional High School here in the foothills of the White Mountains. An absolute beauty of a day for baseball. Tempers are starting to drop quickly as the sun's going down. Just from the feel here. Fastball to lead off Doloff for strike one. So Doloff, Joe and Sanchez do up. This one foul back in out of play. Say, so looking at that, I'm sitting here in shorts and t shirts still because I'm crazy. Goosebumps are coming, so I'd say it's low 50s. Liner right back up the middle off the glove of Dutile into center field. Hard hit. That'll be a single, a leadoff single for Doloff, his first hit of the season. So Curtis Jobin will climb into the batter's box. He's one for one with a single and a run scored. Also had a stolen base back in the first. Away, down as a throw to second. In time, Toloff caught stealing. Had a strike here at the play, or he had a ball at the plate. We'll see what the count is. So that one misses inside. Two-o count, fastball down and away, and it is a three-o count here to Curtis Jobin. He'll take it all away. Flaherty finding the inner part of the plate on that pitch. Ready to go right away. Love this kind of catch and release. Fastball right down Broadway. Just beat Jobin on that swing. In on the hands, found straight back over our heads here. And we'll do it again. The payoff pitch, off speed, cut on a miss, strike three. And there's two outs here in the inning. Fourth strikeout of the game for Flaherty as this will bring up Logan Sanchez. Now the shortstop, one for one with a single. He was caught stealing in the first. Fastball driven to center. Tano back, he makes the catch over his shoulder for out number three to retire the side. So big hits. Well, off the bat, but Laconia can't make anything out of it. Head of the bottom of the third inning, 8-1 Plymouth.
Welcome back here on Pemi Baker TV. Dan Salzer alongside our staff bringing you coverage of this season opener between Laconia and Plymouth. And at the bottom of the third, Plymouth up 8-1. Sanborn, Custance, and Bassenwaith do up here. Sanborn takes ball one. Jake Sanborn had the two RBI triple in the first inning and scored on a wild pitch. And that eight run first. Big gust of wind coming from behind us here at home plate. Off speed pitch, drops in for strike one. Two balls, one strike to count here to lead off man and Jake Sanborn. Upstairs, no offer. That one down into the dirt. And a five pitch walk. A lead off walk here for Plymouth. Here's Logan Custins who struck out in his first plate appearance here today. Stepping off the rubble is Robinson. Doesn't throw over, just takes a look at the runner at first. Curve ball into the dirt and a low one away. Inner half of the plate, opposite way shot to the right field line, foul. So 1-1 one, one count here to Custins. Correction, 2-1 count. That one finds the bottom part of the plate, right at the knees. Great movement from Robinson. Called strike three. Beautiful pitch from Robinson. Gets his second strikeout in relief. So Luke Bassenwaith. Step in to the batter's box here. Right fielder. Scorer run in that eight run first inning. That one for a strike on a big swing. Fastball down, shoot top level. Robinson's done well since coming in. Two outs in the first. Looking comfortable on the mound. That's a big fastball down the heart of the plate. Evens the count at two and two. Going oh, away, full count. Good handle by Doloff behind the plate to keep Sanborn at first. Chopper sent at second. Tryon loses a handle on it, flicks it over and safe.
So top of the order for Luke Diamond. He'll take ball one here. Diamond one for one with a single. Was reached twice. Second time in an error. This one hit hard to right field. Bailey Core will let a drop in front of him. And now base is loaded for Plymouth. Here comes Noah Tutile, second baseman. One for one. An RBI double, a run scored, was hit by a pitch. All that in the first inning. First pitch offered, lifts this one to shallow center field. Jones underneath it for the catch and throws home. Strong throw to keep everyone at bay. So two away for Cam Stratton. He's one for one. RBI double, a run score, also reaching a fielder's choice all again in the first inning. Take strike one. Sent at third, off the glove of Kirk. One run will score in Sanborn. Here it comes passing wave. Play at the plate, he's safe. And two more plate for Plymouth. Plymouth has broken this game open. Nine run lead here in the bottom of the third for Johnny Flaherty. First pitch missing for ball one. Upstairs for ball two. So we got Diamond at third, Stratton at first. Two away here, home half of the third inning. Chopper sent foul, third base line. Ready for the 2-1. Robinson delivers just off the plate. Downstairs at the knees and the bases are loaded again. Harrison Satton was already at second. So Flaherty has reached twice today, both on walks. And Tyler Dekutowski, the catcher in the five spot, will come to the plate. All for one with a strikeout. Also walk scored a run here today. Change up missing for ball one. Fastball missing eye level. In the dirt. Good eye. Good job by Doloff to keep it close to the plate. Keep another run off the board. Hitters count 3 0 for Dick Towski. And a walk 
will score another run here for Plymouth. So time calls, we'll have a visit to the mound. Bring up Thomas Dano, the ninth batter of the inning for the Bobcats. And that will do it for Robinson, who did well in relief. So his afternoon in relief comes to an end with two away. Get fans, our next broadcast will be Bobcat Softball this Friday afternoon live from DNM Park as Plymouth play host to Sal Hegan in D2 action. Sorry. Thomas Dano will come to the plate. Third plate appearance, he's 0 for 2 with a strikeout and a pop out here today. Kirk's first pitch down in the dirt. Yeah. Dole off doing well beyond the plate, keeping a lot of these runs off the boards. With the knockdowns. Shadows almost completely from home plate to the mound. The liner up the middle. Sanchez will tag second for the force play. That retires the side. But Plymouth will add three more runs here in the third. They lead by 10, 11 to one. You're watching Bobcat Baseball here on Pemmy Baker TV. Top of the fourth inning here from Plymouth Regional High School. Go one, go one, go one. 
Tyron Kirk Robinson all do up for the Sachems. Tyron fouls this one back quickly in a 0-2 hole. Tyron has moved everywhere, started short, went to second, now at third base. And three pitches and a punch out here. Strikeout number five for Flaherty. Lucas Kirk, pitcher. We'll see one away for ball one. Kirk 0 for one, struck out looking his first time up to the plate in the second inning. Fastball just missing. Good eye there by the pitcher. That one pounces the strike zone. Flaherty not losing any momentum on his pitches so far. Just off the plate, doesn't get him to chase. Hitters count 3-1. One away, top of the fourth. Cut on and missed. Kirk cut over the top of that one from Flaherty. Full count. Off-speed pitch, doesn't get him to chase. Check down, well they wanted to check down at first but not gonna get it. And a one out walk here for Laconia. So Kirk on for the first time today. Grant the second baseman and Matthew Robinson walked his first time up. Check swing and called strike one. Another fastball, a heater upstairs for strike number two. Flaherty a check over at first on the runner. Another fastball just missing inside. Flaherty wanted to know where it was. It was low, the plate umpire says it is inside. Another fastball fouled off the glove. So not a pass ball as Kirk has to stay at first. One ball, two strikes the count here at the plate. Off speed pitch missing. Fastball, strike three looking. Strikeout number six here today for Flaherty. And this two out for Reed. Vaitland Court, the right fielder, who was hit by a pitch his first time up. Big swing and a miss for strike one. Fastball cut on a miss too. You can hear it, Flaherty really reaching back here. Flaherty look over at Kirk at first. That one dropped, but Kutowski able to keep it right at him. Catch and release, a lot of fast pitching and playing here today. Fastball inside, about thigh high. Good eye there by Valencourt. Make it a 2-2 count. Great discipline here in Division II so far. And a third strike out of the inning to retire the side 
for Johnny Flaherty. So Laconia gets one stranded with Kirk after the walk with one out, but can't bring him home. Get to the bottom of the fourth. Bobcats leading by 10. Fans, Bemi Baker TV is not just for high school sports. Check out our government channel. We have coverage of almost all town meetings. Have full live coverage of the select board, planning board, and zoning board. Plus coverage of the Plymouth Elementary School and the Pemi Baker Regional School Boards. In the Plymouth Water and Sewer District. Stay up to date. Attend the meetings or tune in on channel 1301 to know what's going on in the town of Plymouth. Jake Sanborn leading things off here. Sanborn. One for one. Triple. A walk. Two runs scored. Chopper sent at third. Throw across the diamond. And throw is... Pulls the first baseman offline. Infield hit there for Sanborn. So pinch hitter here. It'll be Noah Shaw. Shaw's first plate appearance this season. Senior takes ball one. Shaw, one of four seniors on the roster this season. Red coach Mike Boyle, this one, a little chin music inside. Shaw, Custance, Stratton, and Dutile, all seniors for Plymouth Regional this season. Kirk ready for the 2-0 pitch and delivers. Again, high and inside. Yeah. 3-0, off speed inside. Finds the plate though. As Shaw took it all the way. Five pitch walk. For Shaw. And Luke Basson Wade, the right fielder. We'll come to the plate once again. He scored two runs here today. He's done fielder's choice. Both times. High and inside, both runners off. Sanborn will advance to third as Shaw on the wild pitch will get to second. Mo 
close to the infield now in the shade. Passing length cut on a miss there over the top. Two balls, one strike to count here to Bassenwaith in the nine hole. Another one missing low. Kirk just trying to keep things on the edge. Not allow anything over the heart of the plate. Three one, inside and another walk that will load the bases. Top of the order, Luke Diamond will come to the plate once again. He's had a solid day in the leadoff spot. Two for two, two singles, two runs score. Also reached on an error. Takes ball one. Sent to left, Knowlton charging in, looking at the sun. That one drops. It's a fair ball, tagging and coming home is Sanborn, confusion. So Sanborn scores. Shot was confused, he's thrown out technically at third. Here's Noah Dutile. Fourth plate appearance today. Seniors hit on the arm. Second time he's been hit today. And it looks like that's going to do it for Kirk. On the rubber. For Laconia, as it is, pitching change here at the ballpark. Plymouth up 12 to 1. Looks like Reed Vanlincourt will come in to pitch. Just trying to listen in, home plate umpire giving the directions so far. So, Vanley Court comes in from right field to pitch. Kirk will go to second and Robinson will move to right field. Our first lefty here today on the mound. And do up here, Cam Stratton. Two for two, a single, a double, a run scored, also reaching a fielder's choice. Does have three RBI on the day in the three hole. So final, final warm-up toss is here for Reed Vantland Court. And as we are set to go for Cam Stratton. Oh, 
So base is loaded. First pitch into the dirt. Bounces away uh, and charging down though was Bassenwaith, but he will have to hold up. Again, Doloff has kept at least five or six runs off the board by the knockdowns in front of him here today. Great job catching behind the plate for Laconia. Another fastball into the dirt. Sent through the gap at third in the left field. Bassenwaith scores. And another run scores. And looks like Flaherty's day is done. From Owen Cahoon, the junior. Cahoon fouls it straight back and rattles our camera. Found back again. And on the hand, sent down at third. Play a third throw across, double play chance, not in time. Another run scores. For Diamond, scored three times today. Okay, who will reach on a fielder's choice. So two outs here for Tyler Tekutowski. Doesn't have a hit. Two walks and a strikeout today for the catcher. Down and inside. Plymouth with a 14 to one lead here at home on opening day. Off speed pitch away from the plate. Toski lays off of that one. And we'll see if he gets the green light. Stratton at second. Nahoon at first. And we're going to get a new ball in here for play. That one finds the plate. Beautiful pitch there from Bailey Court. Inside, ball four, and they're loaded once again for the Bobcats. Toski is third walk today. So a couple of changes here. We're gonna have a pinch runner at first. Jackson Rainier, the sophomore, will now run. And Trevin Stone will now bat here. Let's go, Trev. Get on any way. Go on, Ray. Here we go. 
in the sixth spot. Curveball missing. He even's counted one and one. Jim Stone, a junior, and a very top heavy upperclassman roster here for Plymouth. That one's a hard ringer right up the middle. One will score. Coming around is Cahoon, and two more score here for Plymouth. And it makes it 16 to 1. And a pinch hit single for Stone. And now Sanborn's day is done as the Bobcats have batted around for the second time today. Logan Finkel now at the plate. That one gets down and away to the backstop. Runners will advance. We're trying to keep up here at, at the plate for you. So Rainier now at third, Stone at second on the wild pitch. High and inside. Ball two. Lefty lefty battle upstairs. Above the eyes. Into the dirt, good stop, but uh, that will once again load the bases. Another walk here. So there's Finkel on base in his first plate appearance of the season. This will bring up Noah Shaw. Walked his last time up here this inning as the pinch hitter. High level for ball one. So Rainier at third, Stone at second, Finkel at first. Two outs here in the fourth. And a tough start for Laconia to their season. I mean, they've had some great chances. They've had some hard hits. But Plymouth with some great defensive plays here today and some solid pitching from Flaherty. That's down into the dirt. And Johnny Flaherty's throwing seven strikeouts through three innings. Well, through four innings. Giving up only four hits. Hard to beat. Into the dirt, and a walk's gonna bring in another run. Here for Plymouth. As looks like we're going to have another pitching change here for Laconia. So change here at the ballpark. We'll be back in just a moment here on Pemi Baker TV. Back here at the ballpark, Plymouth Regional High School. 
Chuck Lenahan Athletic Complex. 64. So with this change, Connor Dunn will come off the bench and now pitch for Laconia. Pinch hitter for Plymouth will be Will Foisey here in the ninth spot. Luke passing weight today will come to an end. He reached base. All three at bats, three runs scored in his day in right field. So we're set to go. Boise will climb in. Dunn's first pitch. A little blooper by Foisey and it'll drop foul on the first base line. Dunn with a long look in. Pitch missing away. And another good stop by Ken Dola. Fouled straight back. One ball, two strikes. Dunn gets the sign and delivers. Missing just away. Foise doesn't offer. Two two cut on a miss. Strike three. So Dunn gets a strike count since coming in in relief to retire this side. But Plymouth adding six more runs with a commanding 17 to one lead. After four, we'll be back in just a moment here on Pemmy Baker TV. So Logan Custins will now pitch for Plymouth in relief. Flaherty, four innings, one run, four hits, seven strikeouts from what we have in our book here today. Set to go here. And Flynn Mouso be the pinch hitter. First at bat for Mouso this season. Custon starts him with a ball. A correction, no, it is Knowlton. My apology. So it is Sam Knowlton. 
Fastball well upstairs. Dalton 0 for 1, struck out looking. His first plate appearance in the second inning. That went down. Fastball under the dirt. And a four pitch walk here for Knowlton. So he reaches base for the first time today here in the fifth. Top of the order, Rowan Jones, 0 for 2. He strike out in a fly out here today. Into the dirt, this one gets to the backstop. And Knowlton will get to second on the wild pitch. Duo count, Cussin Slong look at second, now throws home. And again, just misses for ball three. That one finds his own for the strike. And another walk given up by Custance. Kitten Doloff now at the plate. Apologize. It's our equipment struggling out here in the elements. Cussins finds the zone there. Evens count of one and one to Doloff. Doloff today, one for two with a single and a strikeout. Liner at short. One out and throw over, not in time. So one away, runners on the corners now. And Curtis Jobin will come to the plate. Takes ball one. Oh, Doloff will reach second on a wild pitch. So two runners in scoring position here in the top of the fifth. Cussins with a fastball missing downstairs. Fouled straight to the backstop here. Jobin, one for two. We single and run scored and a strikeout. Throw across the diamond. There for the out. A score a run scores here for Laconia. And Sam Knowlton who gets around the bases. Second run of the game. And an RBI. 
that got him there. So, first pitch offered sent sky high there from Sanchez for the third out that retires the side. And we'll end it here today. Uh, the run rule here after four and a half with the home team. So we go final from the ballpark here today. So Johnny Flaherty will pick up the win. He'll move to 1-0 on the season. And Logan Sanchez suffers a loss. Here today, Plymouth moves to 1-0. Laconia drops to 0-1 on the young season. We thank you so much for tuning in here on Pemmy Baker TV. For our entire staff, our camera operator, first base side, and Jonathan Picard, and I'm Dan Salzer. Final score for the final time, it's Plymouth Regional 17, Laconia 2. We'll see you Friday afternoon for Bobcat Softball here on Pemmy Baker TV. Have a great night, everybody.